Hey, 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 Uncle Mark in the Mothership, Three String Cigar Box Guitar, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Fortunate Son, this is Credence, and this is one heck of a fun song. So I'll get right to it, and then we'll break down exactly how this song works. <laughs> the cannon at you, Lord. It ain't me, it ain't me. I ain't no senator's son, no. It ain't me, it ain't me. I ain't the fortunate one, no. That is it. It's the entire song. And you just keep doing it over and over, and it's actually pretty easy. The intro is a little difficult, but you really don't need it anyway. And I'll show you how to do the middle. So we'll work on that as well. So what do we got going on? G, D, G, 42, 34, 24. Those are my gauges, and these are wound electric guitar strings. I'm playing through a Roland Mini Cube, and so I'll show you those settings at the end of the video. You may want to take a look at that, because uh, I have my gain turned up uh, a little bit more than normal, and so you might want to look at that. So this song works in two different ways. So let's talk about where we are on the fretboard here. So open G, G sharp, A, B flat, B, C. C is a very important chord in this song, and it's here on the fifth fret, and it's a bar chord. C sharp and D. This is another very important chord in this song, and it's on the seventh fret, and it's a bar chord. And what I mean by a bar chord is, you just bar across, pretend your finger is a bar, and you just press down on it, like so. It's like a, like a pinching movement, you know? Not like a pinch like that, but more like so. Okay, so C is there, D is there. So D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, and at these two dots you have G. So just like down here is G, D, G, or G, D, G. Up here at the 12th fret is G, D, G. Just to show you a little bit about the fretboard. So another chord you're going to need to know is the F chord. And the F chord is created by taking this D string, and you can see I'm on this D, D, D sharp, E, and F. That F note right there is the driver of this F chord. So you get to this note, and then you're going to go C and C. It looks like 5, 3, 5 or C, F, C. Okay, this is a great chord shape to know. And it works all over the neck. So you can go F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, B flat, B, C, C sharp, D. The shape moves up and down the neck. So it's a really great shape. If you're just starting out, it's a shape you should, you should learn and work on. So this song has two things going on. One is the lyric, and one is the chorus. The lyric is G, F, C, G. Okay? And if you see where my hand is, I'm ready for this F chord. And then the C chord third finger or pinky. Some people have trouble with their third finger pressing it down. A lot of times I use my pinky as well and then a helper finger. Help it down there. Some folks want to wave the flag. Ooh, they're red, white, and blue. When the man plays F, hail to the chief C, they point the cannon at you. So that's the lyric section of this. And so if you look at the way my hand is, I don't move it till I need the chord. 
Do it. So this rock and roll rhythm is just putting my finger on this E, and then I'm ready for the F, and then I move my first finger up to C, and open to that, and I'm up to F, C, rock and roll rhythm, then I move up to here, how I play with that and it's just playing with it it depends on how you want to do it uh, I play this with my duo so Brie and I do this song because she can sing Fogarty really well and so that's how I fool around with this song is do a little rock and roll rhythm here and there but if you're just a beginner and you're learning how to do this this is the shape you need is the 535 F chord so that's a good way to start and just slowly work into it. And C. And avoid hopping. Beginners tend to like to hop. Avoid hopping. Get it into your head that you have to use where your hand is. And then move your hand for the space. So the intro, it does something like this. The notes, okay? And you kind of want to slide into these. So right here, this is a B. How do I know that that's a B? Well, I count up. D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, B flat, B. I happen to know that this is a C, okay? A one above that dot, Right there is a C. I just know that. So I just think backwards. A half a step, or you know, uh, one, one fret, or a half step, or a semitone, yeah, many words for it. So it's that note and the G. And you slide in to that B. So you get those two notes ringing at the same time. Then you take that combination and you move it down a whole tone. So you're here now on A and F. So you're B and G, A and F, G and E, and G and D. 
So. This is really hard for me. This is a hard stretch for me. So if you had to, you could do it like so. Uh, there's many ways you could play with this. You could do this. Depending on how strong your hand is, um, five fret stretches for me can be difficult when I'm playing live. Right here, sitting down, it's, it's pretty easy in front of you guys to... But when I'm playing, my guitar is slung really low, and so it makes these five finger stretches, five fret stretches tough. So I'm still working on that. So... And then I do a little B flat open. So that's those, that's the intro and the outro. They do it in the beginning of the song and they end the song that way. There is a middle section, okay? This song has a lyric, a chorus, a lyric, a chorus, and then this middle section. And it's not quite, react, not quite perfect what I do, but what I do is I take the same notes, B and G, play them at the same time, then I take this A and this F, and play them at the same time. Then I take an F and a C, and then I take a G and a D. So I go. You do that again, I kind of screwed it up a little bit. I do is when I play these two notes, if you watch my finger, I touch that low G string. That way I can play it really hard and you don't hear this. don't hear it. It's a little pro tip is when you put your finger down, touch a string you don't want to hear, you want to mute. So uh, that's how I would do the middle. So it would sound like so. fun to do this. This is a fantastic song. I hope you enjoy it. This is Uncle Mark and the Mothership. Thank you so much for everything you do for me. I do have a PayPal link here down below. It's a paypal.me forward slash Uncle Mark Tips. Thank you so much for everything you do. A buck a show is all we ask. And I told you I'd show you these settings. So let me do that and show you these settings. It's kind of important where you're at. So I'm on that Brit combo, but you see my gain is even past 12 o'clock. So my gain is pretty high, my tone is dimed, and my reverb is really low. So that's my, my tone for this, uh, for this song. Also, my guitar is turned up, my volume knob all the way up, and so is my tone knob. That gives the, this lace pickup pushes this amp really hard. So thank you so much for everything you do, and we'll see you soon.